Another edition of Extra Bases with Coach E, and we're joined by a special guest this week. We'll speak with Athletic Director Mike Alden in a moment, but first up, Coach E, two out of three down in Baton Rouge. Tell us about a great series against LSU. Well, we tried a little bit different approach this time with our pitching. Um, typically, we've been going every single game, Chelsea Thomas, and there comes a point where you know she and anybody else in her position would wear down. So. Uh, we decided to go with a Friday Sunday approach, um, you know, and that's kind of putting all of your eggs in one basket, really. When you're when you're just throwing her two games, you and you're wanting to win series, you're basically saying we have to win these two games. Um, but true to her fashion, she pitched great. Uh, was much more rested this Sunday because of the day off on Saturday, and we got out of there with a with a series win against a very good LSU team. Mike, you're here because we want to talk a little bit about the evolution of this program, and it was several years ago you identified uh, Coach E as a, as a candidate whenever you had an opening, and my, it's certainly worked out, has it not? Well, it has. I mean, certainly Aaron is doing a, a phenomenal job for Mizzou, really, but nationally uh, for, for all the college softball, and when we were fortunate to be able to recruit Aaron from uh, Georgia Tech to be able to come uh, here with us in Columbia, it's really coming home for him. Here's a guy that's from Jefferson City, Missouri. His wife's from Lynn, Missouri. They're from the Midwest and gave them an opportunity to be part of our, our program here at Mizzou. And everything is, is working out great. He's doing an awesome job for our program. How have you seen Coach and his uh, staff develop this thing into really a national powerhouse on the, the uh, NCAA softball scene? Well, I think it all starts with character, and I, and I mean that. I think it's all about people, and I think, first of all, it starts with Coach Earlywine and the character that he displays, his core values, his intensity, his integrity, and all those things take place at the, at the start of that. And then with his staff and how that influences our, our women that we recruit to the University of Missouri, certainly it develops them in, as outstanding students, develops them as outstanding women, and develops them as outstanding softball players. But, but again, it comes back to the character part of that, and it all stems from Coach Earlywine, our staff, and it permeates throughout our whole program, and that has really developed us to an elite program in the country. Coach, especially as we've moved into the Southeastern Conference, toughest conference in America in every sport, but particularly in softball, how has the administration and folks, Mike and his office, helped you guys in, in what you need to be able to compete at this new high level? Well, not just now. But since the day I arrived here in this position, um, this administration has been so supportive, it's, it's, it's almost been overwhelming. Um, there's not too many games that go by where I don't get communication from Mike and Tim, uh, both obviously my bosses. Um, and, and, you know, the places I coached before here, that just did not happen. Um, the support was, was not the same. And so when you feel like your administration cares, and you feel like not only the administration, but I think our entire athletic department cares about the sports here and the coaches here, and they're very supportive. And um, it makes you feel good. It makes you feel secure. It makes you feel like people care. And, and so, in turn, you end up trying harder for those people. And, of course, Mike, May 3rd through the 5th, we've got a big weekend at University Field. I know you want every single Tiger fan to be there for our final home series of the season. Well, our crowds have been outstanding for, for Mizzou softball uh, throughout not only this year but many years. We've built a, a tremendous, uh, tremendously strong uh, fan following for, for the Tigers. And, and here we've got our final series uh, at home against the Tennessee Vols, which is going to be a great series. Our crowds have been terrific, and so we're looking forward to having a sold-out house, as we're used to having right now. And for me personally, I'll be sitting out in left field where I usually sit to watch the game and just looking forward to cheering on the Tigers. That's May 3rd through the 5th. It's Mizzou and Tennessee. We want to see each and every one of you Tiger fans out at University Field. And we thank you once again for watching this edition of Extra Bases.